hello programmers spider is back with one another video in previous video we have seen about how you can create your own python library and just deploy it to you pyp.org so now i uh, yesterday i just uh, published uh, one uh, public opinion on my instagram page uh, if you don't uh, know so this there is a uh, one instagram page uh, the name is machine learning hub.ai you can search it on instagram I am giving the updates regarding the upcoming videos and there are lots of funny and interesting posts regarding machine learning so I am posting on that page so yesterday I have created one just a public opinion and the topic was uh, there, are, there are two uh, tutorial was in option one is a music player and second one is a board classification and I got a good um, uh, amazing response number of the response for the board classification so currently I am uh, just creating the tutorial of the bird classification using streamlit and deep learning and then I uh, will try to create a tutorial for the music player also. So don't worry guys we will get each and every tutorials uh, of the work which currently I am doing. I just recently completed one other work uh, which is related to the face detection system using streamlit. So currently I am working with the streamlit. Uh, so without wasting time just I am saying if you are new visitor of our machine learning hub channel just I am requesting you to subscribe our machine learning hub channel recently we have completed 5000 subscriber and it is a very huge milestone for me as a student so just subscribe my youtube channel you will get a lots of tutorials so let's start the work so the topic name is bird species classification so there are lots of data set available uh, on the internet like uh, some of the cut data set cut data set means what the original data set contain 275 classes so uh, due to some lack of the memory or some other uh, like uh, they don't want to work on the full data set so there are some of the uh, smaller data set available the data set is same but classes is less like uh, i have seen the data set in which they have 200 classes even 150 classes but this is the full data set 275 bird species so this is the uh, uh, most uh, you know favorite data set of the deep learning interested person. So it have the three uh, thirty nine thousand three hundred sixty four train images and it is very huge for the working. So in most of the time I am always work with the, my local machine. I Means I am using just my local GPU and CPU. But uh, now with this uh, number of the images I am just using the Google Call app or i have other option which is called kegel if you don't know kegel so kegel is a one word i'm just saying in one word it is a uh, platform kind of the uh, social media for our data scientist so i am also kegel you just if you want you can follow me on a kegel so currently i am just going to see how we can implement this i am implementing this project into kegel the reason is that the data set is already hosted on Kaggle so if I am going to use that same project in Colab then I need to download the whole data set into Google Drive and then I need to make the connection between Google Drive and Colab so it's better than I'm go, I can go for the Kaggle Kaggle is also providing the GPU right so for this project we need to have the GPU also so as my suggestion you just need to go to Kaggle create a one notebook and start the work so what you need to do is just first of all you need to add a data if you are creating new notebook and just you need to click on the add data it will ask you for the data set name just search your data set name here so the name is 275 border classification i already have added this data set here so first of all we need to import the useful library so if you are playing with the deep learning so keras is a useful so from keras layers we are importing input lambda dense flatten because, uh, then there is a model because we want to save the model and create the model now we are using the vgg16 pre-trained model so that's why we are using transfer learning uh, then we are importing the image image data generator image data generator why we are using this because the number of the image is still less because there are 275 classes and we are near to 38k images right so how image data generator will work it is kind of the uh, simple how it is working in the world in one line i'm just saying uh, if there is a one image so what it will do it will create the uh, image from the different different angles from the one only image if there is a one image then what it will do it will increase the brightness it will decrease the brightness it will change the angle of it it will try to zoom in and create the number of the images so that's how 
image data generator that, that's why the name is image data generator so that's why we are using and then obviously we need a sequential numpy glob and matplotlib image size so we are just uh, setting one size 224 width and height and now we need to specify the directory trend directory test and validation so directory is already given here you just can copy the path from here so i have given the three directories into variables now we just need to download the vgg16 weights so we just uh, we have already imported vgg16 and uh, then input size we need to define the image size here weights is equal to image net and just we need to download it now one one trick is here is uh, we don't need to train the existing weight so we need to define layer dot trainable is equal to false so this is the most important step if you are missing this then it will create issue for you so it will take the it will download the uh, vgg16 uh, weights of uh, dot dot h5 file from google api now uh, we uh, we need to create the label for 275 class right so just, just see i have the data set right i have already downloaded local in local also so i don't going to I means i don't need to write each and every label by myself it, it will take a more than hour for me so what we can do here we just need to use the globe and it will what it will do it will give the label name of every folder because the data is already very class in very classified format so in what it will do there is like in one folder there is a some of the images in second folder there is image and name is the our class so we just need to get that so the our uh, length is 275 now we need to add the layer so we are just adding the flatten if you if you want more better accuracy if you want to uh, if you want more accuracy and more uh, work in deep then you can add more layers now time to create the model object model is equal to simple we need to change uh, we need to give the uh, dense into output and input in input we just need to uh, pass the vgg which we have created earlier here so we need to pass the input and output here and model dot summary so in summary we can observe the model our input layer then convert convert one and you can see each and everything described here so our total parameters are this and non trainable so the, all the information are mentioned in the summary now we need to compile so for the loss we are using categorical cross entropy optimizer is equal to atom and matrix obviously we are using accuracy so we can change the lots of optimizer to get a better accuracy we can it is kind of the try and error now uh, before feeding uh, before starting the training we just need to uh, use the image data generator so image data generator we need to define uh, we just need to define some uh, extra parameters like rescale uh, zoom range shear range horizontal flip and so how it will define the train image data generator so we need to define all the things into variable for the train data into train for the test so we have defined this thing here now training set is equal to training data gen so training data gen is already defined here so flow from the directory so what it will do it will take the images from the our training set and the same case here from the testing data set it will take the images so we need to define test directory path here here we need to define train directory target size is equal to 224 224 which we earlier defined batch size 32 and class mode categorical so now it will define uh, number of the images like found 39364 images for the training and then other images for the testing right now we need to define the length just for the thing like length of the training set and length of the testing set now it's time to start the training so we just need to model dot feed generator so in in here we need to define our training set uh, and where for the validation data we are just feeding our testing set so now step for approach so we are just taking the length of the training set and length of the validation step uh, current actually it is training but i just for a uh, showing purpose i am training but it will take a more time because uh, it will around five approach so just estimate it will take more 40 to 50 minutes around so after that it will uh, uh, upload the loss accuracy okay so i have already saved version here so i'm going to show in it
okay so my end in my fifth uh, epoch is the last time accuracy was 0.78 that was not a perfect but i can say it is a good uh, loss was much more like 1.4 and you can see the train and validation loss here and uh, you can accuracy is also defined here okay but still i'm happy with this but we and we can do more better here now what we need to do uh, now the our second part is what we need to create the streamlit application because see uh, if you are creating the one any product then you cannot directly show this code to your client we need to go with the some uh, kind of the some demo or application or web application so for that we need to create a one web application and this is the web application you can see this is uh, done using streamlit right so for the streamlit we need to come come back it to local machine right so for the local machine what we need to do uh, first of all we need to save this model so just we are doing model dot save bc dot h5 so what it will do uh, it will save the model into this kegel runtime and from the runtime you can download the model okay now from the keras model we need to load the model because see our model is downloaded but at that time downloading we just need to check our save model is working means our h5 file is working or not so we have defined model one is equal to load model so we are just using bc dot h5 okay now for the label we just need to get the class indices as i have said we just need to get the every label so these all are the labels so we can directly get it from the class indices which is available into uh, training segments in train image image data generator okay now uh, we just need to define key and values so we just need to swap the key and values here because what it will do uh, for the for the value is defined like for the uh, one label it is showing one for the two label it is showing two just so just we need to swap uh, i think i am just going to explain it the not pair otherwise it will be like it is board and now board is key and the one is value so this is actually wrong so just what we need to do we need to swap so for the swapping you all know the n is equal to m is equal to n m comma n so that's how swapping is working so that's what we are doing here now we need to create a function so in this function it is uh, required by only it is required only one image so first of all we need to uh, load that image because if we want to check the any image for the, our prediction we need to load that image so first of all we are loading with the uh, uh, keras pre-processing there is already modules available load image and image to array but other other option is we can use the python image library so in load image we are loading the image then we need to convert it into array and then for now we are expanding the dimension and after the expanding dimension we are giving this image to our model so model one dot predict so model one dot predict will give you the answer right uh, but answer will be into the number of the uh, means kind of the matrix so we don't want a matrix we just only want the label so answer dot arg max and x is equal to minus one so what it will do uh, it will give you the answer like this like uh, if the prediction is the 50 number class so it will give you like this so 50 will be your output so 50 number uh, label is will be your output right now we already have the dictionary right oh sorry we already have the dictionary right but we need to get this 50 as a 50 because this is the list right now we need to convert it into string because i need to access only 50 i don't want this list so what we can do with this we can just convert our uh, list into string and string into integer so we have converted it into, into integer so now our 50 is like this uh, and now my label is what label uh, like my dictionary and I, I just need to pass the key so assume that okay so we don't need to do the assumption because already we have done the output here so i'm just feeding the one image here from the validation data set uh, it is barn all and one dot jpg right so we are calling this function output and we are passing this image and target size is given uh, plt dot i am show current just for showing the image and we are calling this our function output and it will give you the output the output is ban all and currently it is our true output because we have taken from the all directory now uh, the most important thing i am just showing you 
so that's how our prediction and all the things are done so first of all what the steps we have done so in short i'm just explaining you we have taken the first of all create a notebook taken the data from the kegel just make sure you download the data set into local also data from the kegel created the model uh, with, with vgg16 applied image data generator right after the applied image data generator start the training model start the six save the model now our seven step is apply the create the web application so this step is uh, remaining right so until that we have done now we don't need to uh, go with the kegel our kegel work is done here because see uh, if uh, i'm going to do this work into local it will take a more than five to seven hours so that's why i'm i'm using kegel so now uh, in my your in your mind one question will be like why i just printed this version so the, the now main game is here so there is a one version issue here if you don't know or if you know maybe if you are trying to just create a lots of work with machine learning then you know there is an issue of the version here right so uh, what we need to do here is we just need to note down the current version of this kegel notebook right so i am using keras and tensorflow here right so my tensorflow version is 2.3.1 and my keras version is 2.4.3 so i just need to note down this version because this code and this model the bc.h5 which we have said which only work with this version even it can work maybe it can work on other or newer version but we cannot take the risk because uh, sometimes it will create an issue for me so just what we need to create now we need to create the local virtual environment into our virtual machine right uh, into means our local machine we need to create the virtual environment right so i think our this work is done here so i will share this notebook link into github just i i will share the link so now we need to create a one virtual environment so i have already created so my all uh, already my streamlit application is running so just let me show you the my here of the directory so i have created one folder board of species classification i i have put a data set in it like train test validation okay three folders uh, upload images i just created for the saving the images which is uploaded on the streamlit uh, virtual environment we have created here because currently my tensorflow and my uh, keras version is around 2.3.1 for the keras and 1.14 for the tensorflow it is older version but my all of these projects are running on it so i cannot take the risk to change the my whole environment so that's why i created a uh, virtual environment so my bc.h5 is here my requirement.txt uh, okay so i just created the copy of it i don't know why so now our seventh step is create the streamlit application so now just open this folder into pycharm so uh, there are lots of people like why you are using pycharm so uh, the, the the main thing is how it is convenient so even you can use the vs code if you want a lightweight obviously there is vs code even currently i have also vs code but i don't know why i am just using vs code for the php or django or if any other language then i will obviously go for the vs code but if i am going to work with the python then i will just go for the jupyter notebook or pycharm right so we need to import the streamlit then python for the p uh, image we need to import the pil uh, then for the uh, keras preprocessing we need to uh, import the uh, load image and image to array and then numpy and for the loading the keras model to we need to import the load model right uh, load model we need to def, uh, import the our uh, bc.h5 into model right now we need to create a dictionary for the label right so our label dictionary is like it is too longer so don't think i have just no, i have not written this i have just created the copy paste uh, so i if you want to know how i created the copy of it uh, I have just printed the dictionary using this. Oh, where it is? Okay, just let me go back. 
still it is running yeah okay so i just printed this training set dot class indices so what it will do it will print the whole the label and key so just from that i have copied this dictionary right so i just copied paste this label here uh, so some of the people like why you are not applying this logic here so the answer is for that i need to define the once again the uh, training data generator and it will take a I means it it is not creating any meaning here because we already have the trend models so then why we need to apply the uh, image data generator right so that's why i just uh, copied the, this label from here now we what we are doing we are just uh, copying this whole function which we have created for the testing the image we have just copied here okay so i already explained this function here now we need to create a one other function which is called run whatever the name you can so image one is equal to image dot open so i have just uh, created the one logo here i just need to close it so this is the board logo if you want then you can put otherwise you can remove it is not creating an input it is just for the good looking purpose so i just resize into 350 into 350 and st dot image so streamlit have lots of component like image title markdown so there are lots of components here so i just use the image here now i just need to give the title boards which is classification so that's how i have given the title here st dot title now i need to give the markdown markdown is for what data is based on 270 board class species okay so i just given the markdown means this application is based on which data right now i need to have the one image uploader and the best thing is about streamlit is it's have the lots of inbuilt component like if i want the file uploader then already st.file uploader is available you just need to write to choose an image of the board and the accepted path i mean the separate type is uh, gpg and png it will allow this extension right if image file is not none right so if the user is going to upload the any image the, the when the image is not uploaded it will look like this right but if i'm going to upload the any image here like this right so at that time image underscore file variable will be not empty right so at that time what it will do st dot image so we need to display this image file here so currently it is shown right now we need to save this image also because we need to give the saved image to our model right so already i have created upload images directory so upload images directory now we need to get the original file name so image file under uh, dot name it will give the original file name of the uploaded image if the i am upload i am uploading t1.jpg so then i will get a t1.jpg name here right now i need to get the buffer size because streamlit is not working with like flash in flash it will save the image right but in streamlit it is working with the buffer so we need to save this buffer like image underscore file get buffer and it will save the image here so it will save the uploaded uh, it will save the uploaded image here right okay now i am putting this one button here which is called st dot button predict right so if i am going to press the button so after the uploading image because i have see see the indentation it is in not none right so after the uploading image if i am going to press this predict button right so what it will do so it will just crawl call this function which is called processed image process image and it will give the path of the image so path of the image is located here so this is the path of the image right because we have saved the path here so path will be like in uploader images one dot jpg right and now it will print the result so we can see the result here and the, uh, after the result is after the getting the result st dot success right so there is a two part here success and error so if you got the success you can it will print like uh, into green if anything error then it will you, you can print error with like st dot error okay my caps is on so in error you if you pass any message it will print in red right so that's how the application is made so the all thing is done from the method even we can create a, any validation here like uh, simple
then we can put the else here if we did not get any error that means if we get any error at the exception we can put the uh, red, red kind of the warning like this so currently i'm just showing error right i just need to take the refresh here so let's try for other bot so in it sometime it is working sometime it is giving the wrong prediction also so it is bad of bird right let's see it is giving the perfect output or not so now it will give you into uh, red color okay so it is giving the bad of but it is correct so that is the difference between error and success so obviously it is uh, it should be displayed to green so i just need to take the reload so in 42 line if we are ignoring all the spaces so it it is just created into 30 37 lines right so in 37 lines we have created our end-to-end -end application so even the you know best thing is about streamlit is it can run up to uh, means it can run into my mobile also this is the network url so i am connected with my router right so i can access this application through each and every mobile which is connected to the my wi-fi so if I am entering this network URL, then I can access this website using uh, this URL from the any devices. So this is my local host application. This is my network application. There is no difference here. So I think guys, I have done from done for the today. I hope you like this video. So I am just noticing one thing here in my YouTube channel. Uh, there are lots of viewer, new viewers are coming into my channel they are watching even they are commenting about different different types like error solution like appreciation but i am noticing they are not subscribing my channel so just i am requesting you to subscribe my machine learning hub channel it will help both of the like it will help you to get a more videos and it will help me to uh, motivate to create more videos so that's how end-to-end -end communication is working like it is a, a web cli client web architecture right client server so that's all for the today video so like and share this video don't forget to subscribe the machine learning hub channel i will be available with the next tutorial so see you in the next one i'll uh, keep coding be safe and don't forget to like share and subscribe